Well, and tonight, a family is mourning the loss of a loved one after they were run over by a car just outside of a Stillwater physical therapy facility. The driver allegedly meaning to slam on the brakes, but instead stepped on the gas. News Force Caitlin Ogle spoke with the family who's calling the entire thing a horrific accident. Katie. And Clayton Briscoe's family says he never knew a stranger. Officers say he gave the driver a friendly little wave before tragedy struck. Now his grieving family just trying to pick up the pieces. I don't know. It's a roller coaster of feelings. With all his faults, it was, he had 10 times more good. I would miss everything. <laughs> it's my last brother I had left. Clayton Briscoe's family reeling from an unimaginable loss. <clears throat> 24 hours before, the 48 year old hit and killed by a car outside of Payne County Physical Therapy Center. It just, there was no chance. Stillwater police say Briscoe sitting on an outside bench Thursday morning, waving to a 74 year old pulling into a parking spot. He was just happy to greet and see people. I feel really bad for her, for her. But instead of hitting the brake, the driver told police she accidentally stepped on the gas, striking Briscoe, pinning him underneath. Briscoe dying instantly. He was hit so fast and so hard that the bench was completely flattened. I can have peace that he didn't suffer. Those nearby running out to save him, but it was too late. When they went to go perform CPR, they seen that his left side was already collapsed. Briscoe's sister, Holly, says she knows this was a complete accident, not wanting to press charges against the 74 year old woman who hit him. She was unconsolable. Now the grieving family just trying to honor Clayton's memory celebrating the life and artwork he leaves behind. They say the 48 year old talented with a brush and a pencil. He went to school OSU for um, creative art. Never meeting a stranger, Briscoe's numerous friends saying they'll miss his big and bright smile. Every person was unique to him and he had a different relationship with every person he did and they were all different. And you may have noticed those flowers at the scene. The family believes the physical therapy staff laid those there in his memory.